a lot of people keep going back and forth about niacin versus niacinamide versus the other non-flush version. Um, yeah. Well, and, and the, it's called an acetyl niacinate yeah. or non-flush niacin. It depends what you're using them for. If you're using them for the treatment of schizophrenia, they're all the same. There's really no major difference. But there is a major difference in what they do because niacin lowers cholesterol levels. And that's what we discovered in Saskatchewan. So if I have a person who has a cardiovascular problem, or who has high blood cholesterol, or has high triglyceride levels, if they're diabetic or they're obese, if they have a cardiovascular problem, then I prefer niacin rather than niacinamide because niacinamide doesn't have any effect in these areas. So that's the major difference. Uh, I, I like niacin because it's the cheapest. The inositol niacinate is a lot more expensive, so I can't start many of my patients on it because they can't afford it. So usually I prefer niacin if they can tolerate it. I, I didn't realize you were having luck with diabetes as well with, uh, with the niacin. Yeah, because the danger with diabetes is that you uh, develop hardening of the arteries. You lose your eyes and you lose your legs because of the cardiovascular complications. If you're taking niacin or taking the no flush niacin, that's not going to happen. Even with the no flush niacin? Yeah. Not with niacinamide. Oh, not with niacin. No. Niacinamide doesn't do that. Just the low flush niacin will do that. It may not be quite as effective. You might have to use a little bit more. Instead of using three grams a day of, of niacin, you might have to use four and a half grams a day of the inositol niacinate.